Halfway mark. Halfway. We're halfway there. I'm halfway there. I'm God, I'm halfway there. My throat is wrecked today. I don't know why. It just I woke up with it like this. I'm sorry about that, but we're going to move through this vlog anyway and try to do our best. I hope it's not annoying. So halfway, I'm actually drinking half as much as I was when I first started, uh, what, uh, 12, 11 days ago, something like that. And you know, I know by the time I get done with this, I'm going to be sitting there thinking to myself, why was I doing this? Why was I? I'm already doing that. I'm already doing that to myself. I was drinking 22 shots a day and I'm down to 11 now. And I'm already thinking, why was I 22? Really? Why? I didn't need to do that. Why? Why was I doing that? So I know that by the time I get down to nothing, I'm going to be sitting there going, how much time, how much energy, how much production have I lost in my life because I was doing this shit that I didn't really need to do? Well, believe you me, I'm probably going to be kicking myself right in the nuts. Wow, if I could do that, I could make money. If any of the naysayers out there want to place any bets, right now is the time to do it. But let me warn you, you're going to lose your money because I'm going to do this. I'm feeling it. I'm feeling this. It's going to get done. Man. Hey, Tim. How you doing? Um, this is Rez. I just watched your video, and I wanted to say that I've been sticking to my promise to you about the diet and everything. And when I went to Anthrocon, I noticed I had more energy to get up and walk around as I was doing stuff. I had the energy to walk up 15 stories worth of stairs. I mean, yes, I had to stop a couple of times to catch my breath, but I did it. I went all the way up to the top, all the way back down. The next day I was like, I wonder if I can do it again. I went all the way up to the top, stopped a couple of times, and then went all the way back down. And I noticed that my depression had subsided. Like, I don't get as depressed easily and all. But um, I've talked to a bunch of people at Anthrocon. They were going, they were saying that they did miss you and that they wish you were there. We all, we all missed you there. And me being my first time there, I really wanted to see you. That, you were one of the reasons why I wanted to go. Hey, another good note. That's my fursana. I'm a Dutch angel dragon, but I don't I don't tweet like everybody else. But peace, man. A couple of days ago, a fan of mine sent in a video that he was doing vlogging from his uh, truck. He's a professional trucker. And he wanted to tell me that uh, he was kind of following me in, in uh, like, quitting an addiction. Uh, apparently, he has something with, with eating. And so we're sort of doing this together. And, dude, I want to say keep going. It sounds like you're feeling better, and the longer you do this, the better you're going to feel. And, you know, here's an idea for you. Give this a try. Quitting an addiction is, it's uncomfortable. It's painful. You, you've got something that you're, you're wanting, body and mind, and it hurts to deny that, and your body is screaming for it, and, but you still have to tell it no. Now, when you go out and say you go to the gym or, and you're doing curls or you, you go jogging or something and you get to that place where you're starting to feel your muscles are burning and your body is hurting and, but you keep pushing through it because you know that this is the point where progress is being made, right? You make that your fuel, you make it your inspiration and you keep going. You just keep going through and you keep lifting. You lift a few more times, even though by God, this hurts, but you're doing it because you know that this is where the progress is happening. This is where the healing is going. This is where you are making yourself better at this point. If it ain't hurting, you're not making yourself better. Do that with your addiction. Try it with your addiction. Whenever you start feeling that, that, that pain coming in, your body's screaming for that thing and you're denying it. And it's going, no, but I need it. That, that feeling, make that your fuel. Because that's where you're making progress. That's where you're improving. That's where you're moving forward. And if you can start to think of that as your fuel, then you'll start to, it'll start to feel like a good thing. It'll feel like a positive thing. And you'll get in the habit of it. And if you get in the habit of wanting that fuel and understanding that it's doing better for you, 
then you're going to make it. You'll make it that way. In fact, you might, you might start feeling sad after you're not addicted anymore because you don't get to get that, that burn, you know? So let it be your fuel and let it carry you all the way to your goal to where you want to be. What causes an alcoholic to want to drink? In general, it's the same reasons that anyone wants to drink. And I, I know everybody out here will probably be able to relate to this. Uh, well, reason number one is to enhance your emotional state. And everybody knows this one. You, I mean, you get a promotion at work, you get a raise. Holy balls, I'm feeling great. Let's go out and let's celebrate. Let's get drunk. Right? Yeah, everybody's done that. You know that one. And if you haven't done that, you can at least relate to it. The second reason is to repress your emotional state. And everybody's seen this too. The guy in the bar, j just been divorced, lost his wife or somebody died. And he's in there by himself, having quiet drinks, drinking himself to drunk to dull the pain a bit. A lot of people have done that as well. So there's that one. The third one is probably the worst. And that's drinking because you're bored. Drinking doesn't keep you from being bored, but what it does do is it makes it okay to be bored, which is terrible. Because generally when you're bored, that's when you do things. You're like, I'm bored, I don't wanna be bored, so I'm going to do something, I'm gonna build something, I'm gonna be productive, I'm gonna do some project, I'm gonna get something done. But when you drink alcohol when you're bored, no, 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 it's okay now. I'm bored, but it's okay to be bored. Now. Imagine a person who drinks for all three of those. That's, that's what kind of, that's what an alcoholic is. An alcoholic always has what they feel is a legitimate reason to drink. You know, I'm bored. I don't want to be bored. Loop, okay, now it's, it's okay to be bored. Now I'm depressed. I don't want to be depressed. I need to dull that down. Blugert, now I'm not depressed anymore. But the worst one and this is what catches most alcoholics, is when they try to stop. If you can imagine this, they're going to be feeling better and better and better until the point where they're like, I feel wonderful. I feel great. My body feels better. I can think again. My mind is awesome. This is a great day. I need to celebrate. Yep. And that's how they wind up getting back into it. Because, and I'm prepared for this because I know this feeling. I've, I've, I've quit addictions before, and I know what happens. Once I get out of this, I'm going to feel so much better. And the minute I do, it's going to make me want to go, great. Celebration, I need a drink. But I'm not going to do that. A few things I've noticed over the last day, more clarity. I love the more clarity. Just give me the clarity, please. Oh, uh, yeah, I, I need to. That coming back in is really, really, it's making me not want to take the shots that I even have today to take. Uh, I wonder what would happen if I just didn't take them. Ah, I shouldn't do that. That could be dangerous. Uh, but that, more clarity. My, uh, hopefully not TMI, but I'm just doing this for posterity. So I guess it's important to know my bowels are starting to screw up. before. I had a really hard time stopping them. I'd go to the bathroom. I'd sit on the toilet maybe seven to eight times a day. A lot of times it was just water or liquid that came out. Uh, the opposite thing seems to be going on the last two days. Uh, it feels like I need to go when I sit down. Nothing happens. Uh, I don't know if that's a thing that's being caused by this. What am I saying? Of course it is. Well, probably. I don't know. Yeah, it is. The very edge of the bottom of my left foot is feeling numbish. Uh, I can't really feel it. That's not a new symptom, uh, actually. That, that started before I even started quitting, but it's still doing it. And I was hoping that would be a temporary thing. I'm hoping that there's not something like some kind of permanent nerve damage down there, or then I will be pissed off. Uh, on the plus side, though, this is something I noticed today. Normally, if I get up and I walk seven feet that way, my heart is pounding. I'm out of breath. I can't catch my breath. 
it's just flopping over my chest over and over again. And I have to stop and catch me. Everything I do, if I get up and go upstairs to get, you know, a drink or something and come back down, I have to sit down in this chair and catch my breath just from walking that way a little ways and then come, come back. Uh, that is not happening so much today. Uh, in fact, a lot of the time I haven't been wanting to sit in this chair. I've been up pacing back and forth over there. Uh, I think I'm feeling a bit more energy than I was before. So there's that, and that's good too. Uh, so far, I'm, yeah, I think this is going well. So that's it, onward and upward. Tomorrow, 10 shots. I think I can do that. I think it won't be a problem, and we're going to continue on, and we're going to see where this leads us. Come on. Come on, booze. This is supposed to be hard. Come on. Bah. No, I shouldn't. I shouldn't make fun out of that. Actually, this is quite a lot of effort. Uh, and it is hard. And I can see why some people get into it and then never quit. I can see why that would happen. But not going to let it happen to me. Tomorrow's another day, guys. I'll see you then.